We get across the road. Now here. I did. Oh, there he called again. All right. Catch him that time. Got him that time. Got him that time. Yep. All right. He's not far. Yeah, and we've got something right down over there. What is that? That's a moose cow. Yeah, so we got a moose cow down there on the shore. I'll mark her so you can see about where she is. And he's. Right there, I'm going to mark the, the position on the map so we don't lose it. Yeah. And that's that's basically, I mean, heading right in the direction that we want to go, so. Just keep going. You Now, I <clears throat> I did see one moose on, uh, on my hunt the other morning, one bull moose, and he was a heck of a moose. And I had a whitetail that was a 185 that I had been hot after for like 45 minutes, mm. um, or, or I'd have gone for that moose. But I was not going to give up on that whitetail. I never did get that whitetail. <laughs> of course. I finally, well, I finally managed to get him to come in. I called him in, and two whitetails came in together. And just as I shot, the other whitetail crossed in front of him, and I hit the other whitetail. In fact, <laughs> I, I hit him like like right below his right eye because he, of course he he stuck his head out to sniff just yeah. as i shot and okay. he ended up being like a 105 or something yeah yeah that's and that's i never did never did catch with the up with that feller again but the moose that i saw over here was actually a really nice moose he was like a one he was estimating as as high as a as like a, a 190 or something so jeez yeah, I'd like to get a really massive moose for that. You know, the one I've got's nice, but yeah, you know, I see some of those pictures of those ones that have antlers that look like I don't even know how they hold their head up. You know? <laughs> yep. Well, there's there's uh, I believe it's a, a two forty two is the the Hall of Fame moose. Mm. Yep, 242. So anything that gets any anywhere around 200 is a really maybe. good move. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Well, that's okay. him. Yeah, and that was a that was a cow that was. He's crossed the out river. In the water there to the. Yep. Yep. He's right, right over there on on the opposite bank. There's a little island, down the the river just a little ways that's a really great spot it's where i originally came through the other day and there were whitetail all around there but let's see if we can get eyes on this fella he's got to be so close here and we just ran off ran something off yeah whitetail buck figures that's all right I know you want a good moose, and this could be your guy, so uh, we aren't going to cry over a white-tailed buck when we might have a moose on the loose. Mm-hmm. There's lots of white-tailed buck to be found down here. All right, so here's this track right up over here. And he yeah, I see should it. Angle across. Where are you, Marty Moose? But you can see we're definitely in buck territory. That's two bucks we run off. I was going to say my sense suppression is still good. Oh, he's a lot closer than I thought he was, dude. Yeah, he's he's just 
up over that hill somewhere there. I wonder if I should call him in. Yeah. Well, Stand if you want to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back a little bit. I'm just going to check. Oh, oh wow. there he is. Yeah, I just heard him call. Let me get my moose caller here. And... Yeah, he's he's just on the other side of the road there. Um, you'll probably want to move up to the hilltop that's right out in front of you before you call him. I'm just going to see if I can get a read on the track on that white tail that went flying out of here. Okay. He was a pretty good looking deer, and I'm just curious. Well, I've got his and next... that way I'm, I'm staying back where I'm not going get, to get in the middle of it all. I'm, uh, I've got his next track, too, so. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if I can find the track of this one that fled. Just see if I can get a read on it. He was looking pretty all right. He wasn't he wasn't any kind of leaderboard animal or anything, but I'm just curious about, you know, the size of the deer in the area here. Check your yeah, sense suppression. Yep, yeah, I'm I'm solid so far. I'm like at three minutes, so But yeah, that's what I thought. We uh we ran all kinds of whitetail bucks out of this area, and so it's less about, you know, getting getting 700 animals than it is about, I want to know what the hunting is like in this spot, and there's no doubt about it. This is definitely a whitetail hot spot between 5 and 7 a.m., because a lot oh, of these yeah. tracks I'm, I'm finding are a little bit older. Oh, yeah. So they were through here a little bit earlier. But I figure that way I'm not getting in the middle of you trying to catch up with that moose. And that, you know, like I say, that's just just kind of the the tough thing is when you got when you got two people hunting, you make a lot of noise, and that's just the way it is. That oh, moose yeah. cow is just a short distance from me, but. Actually, the circle's gotten bigger. All right, then he's he's Wait moving away from you. Then that was uh, the cow. She's she's approaching your your call and scent patch. Oh, she's great. Back behind you, ways. Yeah, I see. But if the circle if the circle kicked bigger, it means he's continued on. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. All right, well I'm gonna cross here and. I'll start working my way over towards you here. Yeah, his he's it's dashed now. He just so was. He, he decided he wasn't interested. Nope. But he's he's in the general. He's headed towards the small ponds over there, and uh, that's excellent whitetail territory as well. So. Well, I'm just going to um, hang tight here and wait for you, I guess. Uh, well, actually, if you just, there's that curve in the road there. If we both head right towards that curve and meet up there, that'll take us right to uh, some, like I say, some real good white tail territory. Well, that's that moose cow. She's, okay, let me go ahead and get away from her because I don't. Yep. There'd you go, bud. He's over at the ponds. Where'd you go? He was over in that area right there. I just dropped a dot in the general area. That moose cow keeps walking oh. up behind me. There he is. There he is. I just dropped a dot on him. All right. Well, I'll keep heading that way. Maybe I can... He's not real big, but he's got some really interesting horns. Hmm. Some good long tines and... and uh, it's interesting because his very front tines, they're narrow, but they're real long and they fork at the end. That's odd. So they may not be the biggest moose horns there ever were, but they're an interesting set of antlers, and I think that has just as much value. Oh, yeah. You know, but that, never... the, that weird how that, that bottom tine, it's narrow and long and then it forks at the end.
I'm gonna go prone while I cross the road here so I don't spook him on you. Right, let me see if I can't get him to come this way. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I'd I'd do a I'd do a, a patch, and you have a white-tailed doe out straight ahead and a little bit to your left. I, I was hoping I it was a nice white-tailed buck that was walking out there for you, but. Yeah, I saw some movement. I don't see it now. All right, I'm back behind you and to your right about 18 meters so that I stay out of sight. I'm going to keep an eye out to make sure that moose cow doesn't come rolling up on you from behind. She's been trying to. I've heard her footsteps behind me like two or three times. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of strange. I'm sure I'd see him by now. Do you? You apparently have located. There, he, there he called. Yeah. Okay. I just can't see him because that little mound of dirt that's in front of me. Yeah. Well, I see where he called from. Let's see if I can spot him out there. Like I say, I'm up. I'm up right on the edge of the road. And yeah, that mound of dirt is in the way. I can't see him because he must be just below it. Damn it. I'm easing up kitty corner and to your right. See if I can get eyes on him for you. Spot for you. I'm 10 meters back behind you on the rise. All right. I am just not. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Let me. Wait a minute. I see him. And I'll, I'll, you I got him? I right. see his head. Yeah. He's 123, so he's 113 meters out from you. He's walking away. Shit. Yeah. Well, tell you what, rather than you calling, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a scent patch, a moose scent, and, and call from up here. That way he'll be coming this way. All right. He's kind of on a mission or something. I don't know what his deal is. Yeah. <laughs> He's... It's like, well, it's a good thing you're Clint Eastwood, man, because I don't no think one. anybody else would get away with saying what you just Oh, did. hell no. Well, there he is. Is he moving back this way or what's he doing? He seems to be moving this back this way. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go prone. I'm going to crawl up to the ridge here just ahead of you and to your left and I'm gonna call and see if I can't can tell how him moving this way can't and tell should pull, pull him in for a nice shot can't tell he's right behind the tree right now he's real cautious see how far out he is he is check my sense of pressure. I, I got could, 18 minutes left he just fell on that little rise he's about 30 meters out Now I'm getting lag, which is not good. Oh, God bless it. I don't need lag right now. I hit him. I All saw right. Him. He was walking, so I may not have oh, hit him. Oh, oh, yeah, there he... Yeah, I see him. I see him. He stopped, and he's down. Good. Bang. Good. There we go. I just marked him. I wasn't sure if I was going to... Cause like right at that moment I got a lot of lag and that I was like shit. Like I said, I've been going through waves of lag here and I don't know what the deal is with that, but I just figured, well, if I dropped a scent patch and called it, guarantee he kept coming this way. So I wasn't sure because he was still. He's got some really interesting horns. They're like I say, they're not giant horns, but they've got a really interesting shape to them. The way that front tine is. Oh, wow. That is really different. Yeah, I mean, 
that's that's wow yeah that is just nutty i mean he's obviously he's he's in a uh you know more immature state of his horn development and so they he hasn't developed the big satellite dish plates yeah and so it's like if he had the satellite dish plates but then you took and you carved out in between them or something it really interesting looking horns you want to, okay you are in here right. yeah he's uh sure get god i am really getting seven frames that's just nuts i wonder what's going on i don't know i wonder i wonder if well it's not the time of month like where data would be throttled or anything and <clears throat> you said it's usually saturday nights late huh yeah it seems to be it happens a lot i wonder if it's just a matter of the amount of traffic late on a saturday night maybe Bunch of bunch of middle aged men living in their mountains of basement surfing porn or something. <laughs> I got him. I don't know if I'm gonna taxidermy him or not though, but he's interesting. Yeah, I'll do go ahead. I got enough GMS. Yeah, and he's got he he had uh, like some interesting little additional points here and there too. Yeah. All right, well, let's see where we are on the map. We're Okay, well, that stand is not too far down. I just dropped a dot there. If we work straight towards that stand, it'll keep us in the whitetail territory. And if we get down on that stand and I drop the patch in the right way, it's only a one-man stand, so I'll have to back on out of there once I drop the patch. Yeah. But, I mean, just a beautiful field for shooting. And when I came down to the stand there were there were five white tails all around it Good all God. here and there and stuff but the problem was is that i didn't realize which side you could shoot from i figured it'd be like like most of the other ones where you could shoot from both sides well i was moving around up there going well why can't i just son of a of course i was moving around so much that they went oh crap and they all ran away so. yeah Big old, big bull moose came through here. Wow. Not one of them little baby mooses. Big old bull moose. But. Okay, is that it in front of me, that weird looking thing? Yep. That wiggly waggly tree there. Yeah, that is kind of strange. Yep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get out here to... An appropriate distance. In fact, there's a downed log right right here. All right. I'm just going to pause right by this downed log. There you go. All right, so you see me out here? Oh, yeah, perfectly. All right, it's dead on. It's about 23 meters up to you here. Yeah, that's what... Yep. And so I'm going to drop a, a scent patch and call for a whitetail right here. Should be a real nice shot for you. I wish you and could then, get up here with me. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, only only one man. You'll want to hit a crouch, and you want to stay relatively still, because they did see me up there when I was all moving around and stuff. Mm. All right, so you got a good marker. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull back by this boulder out here on the point. That way I should have a good overwatch of anything coming in. And... Uh, Get me out of the out of the region, and hopefully that buck will come in. He wasn't that far out in the opposite direction. He was right down on that one little pond. There we go. Coming on over here, and oh wow! Did you hear that? Nope. He must be he. He must be close to your end, because all I've got here is the doe. He's on the other side of me. It's a moose. Yeah? Yeah. Well, was... guess what I'm going to do then? Uh -huh. I'm also, I'm over here by this rock. I will, I will kick some moose juice and call to see if maybe he comes wandering through too. That'd be awesome. Yeah, he was over, you know where the curve of the, well, here, I'll just show you. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if you want to drop a dot. He was right there. 
It's not too far away. But he's on the opposite side of the stand, so I couldn't shoot if yeah. you, shooting from here. So. Well, too bad I didn't hear him. It might have been that big one that came through. But all right, if we just sit tight, there's a good chance we're gonna, we'll get some white tail come in. And if we don't see anything in a little bit, I'll go back. I'll refresh the the patch and the call. But it's like great. I say, there were five white tail bucks all around the periphery of this field when I was in here the other day. And we know they're in the neighborhood because we heard that one fella call. So Yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing or hearing anything from any of them, honestly. It's kind of kind of strange. Yeah, we had that buck call while we were on our way in, and had that moose call, and I'm really surprised that neither one of them have responded. Nope. Well, you wanna since both the the buck and the moose were down the down the coast. Yeah, let's back behind you. Do you wanna do you wanna try up along the coast there and see what we see? Yeah, it looks like Snoopy's. Let's fire Snoopy. Yep. Moose poo. Now uh, he's. I got a dash circle though. Well, it was right in here where that buck called from too. Well, there's a lot of tracks here besides his, so. <clears throat> and I am really getting so much lag. What the deal is. Yeah, I'm trying to find that. When's the last time you restarted your computer? It's been a little while. Maybe, maybe I don't know if I need to do that or not. Yeah, this is this is the track of that big old buck. Okay. Yeah, he he definitely headed this way. Yeah, because this, this moose has mysteriously vanished. I don't know where the heck he's gone. No, we've been everywhere around here. We should have seen another track by this time. I think well, I'm, I'm sorry that the hunt didn't end up netting anything amazing for you. I mean, I'm glad I got got the, the, the bear and the black tail that I did, but I was really hoping we could get you a nice white tail for your wall. Oh, I will eventually. I mean, it's going to happen. But, uh... Do you want to, before this thing finally shuts down for good, <laughs> do you want to take a quick jump over to your thing and, you know, put your black tail up and your black bear? Well, um, uh, those, those I can't, I can't. Oh, that's uh, right. You can't. Until I load a single player, so. I forgot about that. Well, oh, son of a gun. No good stinking. It's him, too. It's him. Uh, I know. Let's go finish him. Let's see if we can finish this hunt with a moose for the Hawkeye. You no good stinking moose bastard, you. He is doing. What is he? Is he circled around? What does he do? Where the hell did he go? Yeah, yeah. Somehow he's he circled way the heck back behind us. I don't know how. I don't know how we missed him, but he did. No. Good bugger, and let me hit my scent eliminator. Even though we won't get much much use out of it, we don't want this guy to get away. He hell has, no. and he's right down the hill. Hot. I see he's him. Right down the hill. You see him? I see him, little bastard. Well, he's not a little bastard, but actually, he's a pretty good-looking moose. Should he's I got go hot? Horns. He could be a 195. I'd go hot and knock him down. He could be a 195. He's 69 meters up from me. Nice. You definitely hit him. I've got eyes on him. And, and he he's down. down. He's down. 
Okay, so so what looked like could be a bust could have you a better moose than we picked up in White Rhyme. He has some really nice horns. He's got a lot of tines, lots and lots of tines, and he estimated it potentially as high as a 195. Wow, that would be nice. I think the one I had was like a 142 or something like that, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, um, I'm not sure where this guy is at, but I will tell you, he is a good-looking moose. I don't know how he managed to circle back behind us like that without us catching on to him. I don't either. I mean, had he not called, I would have never known any different. Yeah, yeah. Well, now I'm not dropping the frames. What the mm -hmm. hell? Of course. <laughs> it's 30, 30 oh, frames nice per second. Oh, nice heart lung. Nailed him clean, Pilgrim. I think I think it was running something in the background, honestly. Which would explain why it was running so hot as well. Yeah. It was having to jump back and forth, so it was working the heck out of the processor instead of the graphics. Yep. He's a good-looking fella. I honestly don't think he's going to be a 195, but I mean, he's got some really interesting horns too. It's it's yeah, the smaller strange times, how the but... horns on him here seem to be much more unique and crenellated and things than than they are in White Rhyme. Yeah, 135. Huh. I just must not clearly understand how they rank these things because I didn't ever thought he'd come in 135. I figured he was pushing 150, 160 somewhere in there, but still, yeah. at least we got that bastard. Yeah, finally. He was just teasing us. He was... Met okay, now I'm getting the frame drops again. What the hell is going on? What is your deal, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get his head the other direction, but it won't. There it goes. That's better. Can you move you up just. You talking to me? You talking to me? <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. That's a good pose. Kiss. Say, say cheese. Mozzarella. Look me in the eye and call me Moose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this that's going to have to be it for me. This thing is so slow right now again. All right, guys. I think that ended up being a successful hunt there for a while. We thought we were going to have to end it a little early. I'm having a few computer issues. I think my computer's trying to do some updates without my permission <laughs> so yeah a little a little bit of frustrating mis misadventure there but they can't all go famously you know we've had so many good hunts oh yeah that i guess we're gonna we're gonna at least have one that was a little wacky but i still I, had a good time i guess what we'll have to do is we'll have to see if maybe you can find some time we give her another shot tomorrow night Man, there were so many beautiful whitetails out there. At least I'm, I'm glad to know that we confirmed that that is a good area for early whitetails. And we're, I'm definitely going to gonna give that a go again and see what I can pull out of there. And uh, at least we got that darn moose at the end. Oh, I know. That was really ticking me off. He just was playing us. But <laughs> yeah. we, if we he played hadn't him. Called, I'd have never known he was there. No, me either. Because we, we had completely lost his trail. Oh, well, we, I think that was an awesome hunt. But anyway, please be sure to share, comment, like, subscribe. We will be back again with another episode of The Hunter. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. And remember, if you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly.